The time has come. The legendary ban, Slaughter to Prevail, has graced us after an entire year of waiting with a new track by the name of Baba Yaga. That's right, guys. Today, big day in the male community because we have sort of like the best of the best with us now, Slaughter to Prevail with their new single. Of course, Demolisher came out last year. It broke waves, it blew minds, and it showed us how low you can truly go with your vocals. Because pretty much Alex Terrible showed us that he won the vocal limbo with how low can you go. And today we have Baba Yaga, fresh music from the boys. It's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be tight, it's gonna be intense. I know for sure it'll be that way. And we're gonna jump into it right now. So, right down below, what did you think of the track? Did you survive the track? And we're gonna jump right into this. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous, but I think we can make it. Smash the like button. Smash it, like this song's gonna smash my head in. All right, three, two, one, click. What the fuck, already? That's disgusting. Alex, your voice is disgusting. Oh god. Oh. Not wasting any time. We're getting smashed in the face. One second in. Oh, we got some more Russian. <laughs> oh, we got vocals, clean vocals. God, it gives a bit of a demonic feel to it. Nice. Ooh. And all of them in the golden masks. I like the bear. I like the bear. Whoa. Whoa, we actually have some, a clean singing on the chorus. God, giving some Linkin Park new metal vibes here. Ooh. Can you think of anything manual? Man fighting bear. Ugh. Ugh. Oh God. I love how unapologetic they are about where they're from. Yep, yep. Russian tanks, vodka. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, it's so much. It's so much. I love it. Oh, nice. Hardcore. Opening it up a bit. Giving us some space. Is that the predator he's dealing with? Those lasers. The predators hunting down? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's too much. Ooh. Oh, smashed it right in the head with that one. Fuck. God have mercy on us. We are demons. Saints we ain't. Ooh. I like it, that's some orchestral stuff in the background. Oh yeah, some vodka, we have we play Russian roulette. We have our Adidas on.
Wow, that, those those taunts have such impact. Oh, the vodka. I don't want to feel a thing. Fuck. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Are you still alive? I think I'm just holding on right now. Fuck. <laughs> Baba Yaga. Slaughter Prevail. Bringing us the goods. It's been a whole year of anticipation and... They gave us the goods. They gave us the fucking goods. Damn, we should try and we need to talk about this. And I think uh, if I was right, I don't know if there was any mention, but I saw on their um, Instagram that they have announced that there is an album coming. Yeah, there is an album coming, which, oh my God, the album. Oh, that's gonna create earthquakes. I can imagine that this year. It's gonna be insane, insane. But yeah, let's talk about this. So what can I say? Yes, it does have all the tropes of Slaughter to Prevail. The intersplicing the Russian lyricism with the music, which really fits really well, even though I don't know what they were saying. Um, if anybody's Russian out there, comment down below and let me know what were the words used or the language and what they were uh, going on about. Uh, music wise, yeah, just straight away, those first seconds with those really low guttles that we know and love by Alex Terrible. And on the same time with that uh, sort of pre-breakdown moment where of course he did the similar thing as he did in Demolisher with the Russian lyricism with these really low, almost pitch shifted style gutturals. I don't know if he's doing that naturally. And I hope he does a video like demonstrating him actually doing it if he is able to do it naturally, that is fucking amazing. Overall, this was a really fun song. Um, I guess the biggest elephant in the room, of course, is the clean vocals that he went for. I know for a fact maybe some people won't like it at the start, but it's nice that the band is incorporating something new and Alex is trying to do something a bit different and trying to, you know, get in touch with a different side of his vocal performance, which I respect. I respect that. Initially, for me, hearing it for the first time, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm a bit 50-50 on the fence, but I have a feeling it's one of those things that it'll just grow on you over time because it's very interesting. It brought back the Linkin Park style of like Chester Bennington vocals with some new metal. Um, I like that they did a hardcore section where they just sort of, you know, gave us a little bit of a breather and gave us some grooves back into the overly deathcore aesthetic. And it really helped and gave more impact to everything else that was happening. Uh, drumming wise, it was crushing. It was so intense and just what we expect from them. And the guitar is sounding beefy and thick. And overall, as a package, it was monstrous because they are monsters. Uh, they are demons, they are hell, hella demons. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm giving that a like for sure. Really looking forward to a full album because it has been a long time since they've come up with a full length album. But anyway, I am gonna leave it there. Write down below, what did you think? And if you wanna come and hang out with me, listening to some music, go to twitch.tv slash metal roast. We do listening parties every Thursday at 2 p.m. And besides that, give this video a like if you enjoy it. And of course, subscribe to keep updated on the content on this channel. And besides that, I wanna give a huge thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.